Hi everyone, my name is Anurupa Rao. I'm here to introduce my mentee, Esmeralda Leon. Um, she just graduated from high school, from Oak Grove High School, and will be joining UC Davis in the fall uh, to study chem chemical engineering. So very excited about that. Um, over the course of the past few months, I saw Esme juggle college applications, high school, SATs, um, and a part-time job, magic, and volunteering. So she's inspired, I think, me and everyone around her with everything that she can do. And to talk more about the projects that we worked on together, here's Esme. So about my mentor, she, her name is Anurupa Rao, and she grew up and studied in India. And she enjoys reading, singing, and making things, obviously because she's a mechanical engineer and a product design manager at Amazon. So my magical experience. At first I was a little nervous because I did do Girls Who Code last year, the summer of my junior year, and I wasn't sure what to expect from this program since I didn't know how different they were, if, they were, if there were any similarities. But I would say they're both special in their own way. And for sure, one thing that really kicked off our relationship was we took a field trip to the Exploratorium in San Francisco, and that kind of was the best field trip ever because <laughs> we just really bonded and got to know each other really well and how the other person thought through many things. So after that, everything just kind of went really fast. Um, a lot of projects, a lot of really crazy planning situations, but it really bloomed to a great mentorship and friendship. So my project, I chose three different projects. Um, I did catapults, that was our very first experiment. It was really rough and we didn't take any pictures because they just kind of fell apart afterwards. They're just little popsicle stick catapults, really simple ones. But the next one was rock candy, which is just like a super saturated solution, just sugar and water. You boil the water, put in one cup of water, boiled, and then you put in four cups of sugar. So it's kind of like a really sticky, sugary syrup. And we put a popsicle stick and a cotton ball in so that the crystals could form around it, which creates the rock candy. And you can see it on my um, demo. I brought it in. It turned out really well. My main project, though, was the caffeine extraction. This project took me about a month to do, mainly because with all the scheduling and craziness, I had to go to a separate classroom and use the chemical equipment there. Since I am going to be studying chemical engineering, I thought it would be best to do a chemistry experiment. And I didn't realize how much filtering this project would take. You take three teaspoons of black tea in about 40 grams of water, you boil it, and you basically filter it until you get the caffeine. But I didn't really, when I chose this project, it didn't really sink in how much filtering that it took. I used about three different funnels, um, different filter systems, it was pretty f frustrating sometimes because it didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to. I only ended up getting what you see in that test tube there. That's all the caffeine that I got from about a month of work. But it was a learning experience. So for my demo, I did food science because I wanted something really nice to kind of simple and fun and interactive to end the program. So. I made three different batches of cookies. A control, which is just plain, amazing, delicious chocolate chip cookies. And then the same recipe, but instead of using the normal half teaspoon of baking powder, I used one and a half teaspoons. And for the third batch, I used, it's a little off, but I used one cup of flour instead of one and a half cups. And my picture of the raw cookie dough didn't make it on there. But that's what they looked like after 10 minutes of baking. This is the first experiment with one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And this is the second experiment with the one cup of flour. Thank you for listening and hope you can check on the video.